A beautiful evening, a packed house and an appropriate stage for the final of the 2014 Rabo Direct Pro 12 tournament. Leinster seeking to become the first side to retain the title, appearing in their fifth straight final. Up against a Glasgow team in hot form on a club record run of nine consecutive league wins. The Irish side seeking a fourth league title, having lifted the trophy in 02, 08 and of course last season. And looking to give Brian O'Driscoll and Leo Cullen a winning send-off as the two stalwarts hang up their boots. But it was the visitors who put the early scores on the board. Young out half, Finn Russell held his nerve and landed a third-minute penalty to put the Scots three points to nil up. Then as Leinster launched a response, they suffered a real blow. Brian O'Driscoll was forced off with a leg injury. And as he left the field for the final time in his distinguished career, he received a standing ovation from all supporters in the ground. An emotional moment for the number 13. Ian Madigan came on as his replacement. Time on. Warriors tagged on three more points with another Russell penalty in the 12th minute. This one going over off the upright to the relief of the number 10. Glasgow had a six points to nil lead. But the big home crowd had something to celebrate not long after that. Leinster went through phase after phase and patiently bided their time before eventually switching the ball wide left. Madigan with a crafty pass to Rob Carney who sent Zane Kirshner away and the South African darted over for the try. Only his fourth score of the campaign, but this one was hugely valuable for Matt O'Connor's men, one that the build-up probably deserved. Jimmy Gopperth converted for a 7-6 lead. Russell then put the Scots 9-7 ahead on 34 minutes, but that advantage was short-lived because the men in blue struck almost immediately. Redden to Gopperth with a dummy and quick pass to Kirshner who broke through. And Shane Jennings was in support to take the pass and charge over for the home side's second try of the game. Another wonderful score from Leinster and one that once again had the RDS faithful on their feet. Gopperth converted. Leinster were 14 points to nine ahead a couple of minutes before the break. But there was still time for Russell to land his fourth from four with the last kick of the half to leave it Leinster 14, Glasgow 12 at the end of a pulsating 40 minutes of rugby. In a free-flowing, if low-scoring second period, Gopperth stretched Leinster's lead to 20-12 with two penalties, the second coming in the 65th minute, putting Leinster eight points ahead. That was before the killer blow was struck six minutes from the end. Madigan with a wonderful steal as Glasgow tried to break. And as play continued, Sean O'Brien started the attack before Redden picked out Heaslip. He in turn found Gopperth. Gopperth passed to Darcy, who did brilliantly to find Kirshner. And he was over for his second try of the game and one that gave Leinster an unassailable lead. Kirshner couldn't fail to score after the superb reverse pass from Darcy. Gopperth kicked the extra two points and it was 27-12. There was still time for Darcy to get in on the try-scoring act as Warriors' challenge disintegrated. This time, Kirshner returned the compliment to the Wexford man. He was over in the corner. Only Darcy's second try of the season from limited game time and you could see how much he enjoyed that one. Once more, Gopperth converted to leave a final score of Leinster 34 Glasgow 12. Set. Warriors can reflect on a brilliant season and with Gregor Townsend at the helm, the graph for the Scottish side is very much on the rise. However, Leinster deserved this win. They become the first team to retain the Rabo Direct Pro 12 title. It's seven trophies in seven seasons. 
And a perfect final chapter for both Brian O'Driscoll and Leo Cullen. When it came to the trophy presentation, Captain Jamie Heaslip called on the two retiring legends who were pushed forward by their teammates to raise the trophy as an ecstatic home crowd hailed their heroes once more. A wonderful way for Leinster to finish the season and a wonderful final honour for Bod and Leo as they end their playing careers on a high. It was celebration time in Dublin after a record Rabodorek Pro 12 final victory. Final score at the RDS, Leinster 34, Glasgow Warriors 12.